Welcome to This Is The Day. This Is The Day with Drew Crisp. And Bo Chancy. Bo Chancy, absolutely. Uh, we, want to, we want to take a different tone this morning, Bo. Oh, are we? Okay. Um, I'm just kidding, we're not really. <laughs> what if we did? We just I turned it real I quick. I wasn't sure what. <laughs> no, like, you know, sometimes they're just like, tonight we want to start up top with something serious. No, that's not the show. But, good morning, Bo. Well, now I want to be serious. I'm sorry. <laughs> Seriously, good morning. Seriously. Seriously, good morning. Seriously, good morning Seriously. to you. Welcome. No, no, I'm serious. I don't know why I got angry, though. I just high school boyfriend this mug. I'm serious. Good morning. Good morning. I uh, know. I'm serious. Good morning. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got, I got, you feel it? Did no, you? it kind of made my stomach hurt. Oh. Like, I got a little nauseous. Like, like, I think you lived that out. Oh, that was, yeah, that was real. That yeah. Was, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ugh. Man, we are past those days. Yeah. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> it came back really, really easily for yeah, you. Yeah, it's easily accessible. Welcome to This Is The Day, Tuesday edition. That's June right. June 16th. June 16th. Man, it just keeps happening. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, this is the day. It's, it's, it's a day. It's, man, it's a day worth celebrating. It's a day worth living. That's right. Sun came up. Came up. Birds are chirping. Oh, man. All right, let's make some noise. What do you call them? Chippies? The, the little chipmunks? The chipmunks, the chippies. The, yeah. uh, they're scurrying. Oh, this, oh, yeah, the chippies. They're, they're out and about. They're about. They're, yeah. they're busy. Yeah. We have foxes in our neighborhood. Okay. It's talk in the neighborhood. You go out walking around, the dogs, you know, people are stopping. They're like, did you hear about the fox family? I'm like, I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I ca catch them on my, uh, my outdoor cam at night, <laughs> strutting across the driveway with their foxy tails. <laughs> they got a little uh, portable... Barbecue pit, right? They just—they yeah. have a little <laughs> campfire. Up, and <laughs> well, the neighbors are kind of like, "You got video of them?" I'm like, "I do." Like, they want to yeah. see that stuff, right? <laughs> There's an investigation going on. We Neighborhood goings on, <laughs> you know, with the foxes. Did you think when they said Fox family that maybe there was a family in the neighborhood with the last name Fox? Well, maybe that is that we're what all they meant. About. <laughs> yeah. I was talking about this little family of foxes yeah. that we got. I don't know, I may have gotten sucked right into something. <laughs> <laughs> Neighborhood drama. 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 Mm. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, good morning, Bo. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Uh, we are so glad that you would start your day off with us, or maybe sure. you're watching later in the day. Yeah. And, it's you fun. know, yeah, that's great too. Absolutely. Any time of day, really. Yeah. It's a good thing. And, and honestly, this is a wonderful program. I, I might be a little biased. That's okay. But it's a wonderful program, and you should share this program. It's worth sharing. Program, as my uh, grandmother would always say. It's shareable. Program. 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 Share the program. Share the program. Yep. Yeah. yeah it's, it's shareable. It's clicking a share. Clicking a share. Pretty simple. It's not hard to do. Clicking a share, whether you're on uh, Facebook or YouTube. Mm hmm. Clicking a share, and you know what might happen? Clicking a share, you might get a mug. That's right. You might get a mug. One of these bad boys Woo! right here. It's the best mug around. Best mug ever made in the history of the world. Yep. And uh, the only way to get one of these is to share the show. Click, share. Might get a mug. Might get a mug. Click and share, might get a mug. Any time of day, whether you're watching live or later on demand, our producer, Eric Vines, will choose one lucky share. That's show right. sharer. Show okay. sharer. And uh, you will get a mug. So uh, we have a winner from yesterday, right, Eric? We do. We who do won, indeed. Uh, who won yesterday's mug? Who yep. So a mug today, to? well, yesterday share. Today's winner is Victoria Major. So congratulations, oh, Victoria. Victoria. Way to go! Right. You get a very own This Is the Day mug. Congratulations. That. Victoria, okay. your life is about to change. Okay. It's There's one of these coming <laughs> to you. Mm. You just ask Linda, all right? Yes. Ask Linda. She, Li she knows. And Linda sent us photographic evidence of how her life has changed. Look yeah. at this. Oh, we got a man. picture. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Before, before getting a This Is The Day mug, <laughs> she didn't have a dog. <laughs> she, and then that dog just came just, out of the woods and sat at her feet. <laughs> Is now her new best friend, and we found out the dog talks. Right, the dog speaks. But, yeah, it's teaching her Latin right yeah, now. It's pretty impressive. Yes. Yeah, yeah, the dog's got so, like a I medical mean, degree. <laughs> <laughs> the, your life will change around. It just does. Everything just yeah. so much better with yeah. one of these. You know, and for seven hundred dollars, you can buy a hand painted by me. This is the day. Mug, mm -hmm. um, limited, very limited. But, I mean, this is day. Mug. This is day mug. Right yeah, over don't, here. Yeah. No false advertising. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, 
Yeah, seven hundred. Seven hundred. Yeah, that's the current price. That's the current price. We, I think we may have a little bidding war. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yep. you know, save, save up your money. You might get a "This Is Day" mug, or you can just share the show. Share the show. And you might get a "This Is the Day." There it is. Mug. There it is. You're getting real confused. <laughs> like, I really, a very simple thing I've made very complex. No, I, I don't know. I, I'm, yeah, we love you. <laughs> Hey, hey, Drew, what'd you do last night? Okay, so um, currently in my life, I've got a lot of uh, milestone events coming up. Uh-huh. Um, got, uh, got obviously the Father's Day is coming up yeah. th- this weekend. Big, big to do ins. Yep, so uh, dad loves, loves the crafts, you know. Um, wouldn't want something practical from his son. He needs something real tchotchke, you know. So working on that right now. Um, and so, uh, you know, listen, here's the thing. Um, you really got to think ahead when you live far away from your parents. I don't know what these people in the Pony Express days did, you know? Like, you have to be months in advance. Oh, yeah, far like, out. No yeah. one would ever get a gift from me if I lived in that time because I would be, I'd be way off. Sure. You know? I get one day shipping and I miss it, you yeah. know? Uh, so, but I got I to gotta get that out in the mail to get to the, the dad. So, crafted that. We've got uh, Callaway's birthdays coming up this weekend. Uh, so, work on stuff for him. Our 11th year wedding anniversary okay. is coming up. And oh, so, wow. working on some crafts in that realm. So, a lot of crafts happening last night. Uh, but I did see something I wanted to qu- give you, I w- ask you about, okay? Because okay. uh, I'm not a, not a necessarily an expert on the New England sports, mm-hmm. okay? And so, I, I came by, I know a little bit. Uh, I came upon this sign. I was like, oh, that's interesting. I'll show you a picture. Um, Red Wings. And I remember as a kid driving through Detroit, and one of their large, like, statues in their city had, like, a Red Wings jersey on. I think they had one, uh, maybe the Stanley Cup that year or something. And I was like, oh, cool, Red Wings, you know, uh, that's, that's interesting. So I kind of started following uh, that. But, again, they don't grow ice in Oklahoma, you know, that much. So I didn't really spend a lot of time around hockey. When I was up in New York uh, with Kaylee, I uh, was hanging out, um, you know, with her mostly, so we didn't do any, any hockey in. So the Red Wings, that's a Detroit thing. Why would they have like a whole like fan superstore up here for the Red Wings? Is that a big thing? I don't know, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? There's apparently a Red Wings store. <laughs> Was for the, the Detroit Red Wings. <laughs> was the buildup too long? I went too long with the buildup. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I keep uh, maybe if you just keep talking it out, maybe yeah. maybe something will come to you. Yeah. What do you though. think that could be? Man, I don't. You know, um, there there's some boots. Are, I've I've heard, I've seen boots before that are. Uh huh. A red okay, wing. Maybe keep going down. <laughs> take another step in that direction. <laughs> but no. So uh, the hockey team here is. What do, who do people follow? Who do you follow for hockey? I think you know this too. That's the Bruins, right? <laughs> yes. I'm learning. I'm figuring it out. I don't know. Hockey games are fun, though, man. So you saw, let's just to be clear for everybody, yeah, yeah. this let's, is what I'm dealing with. Yep. Your cabbage lost its hat. <laughs> <laughs> no. You saw yeah, yeah, yeah. a Red Wing shoe store. Right, 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 right. And in your mind, you thought, <laughs> that's funny because yeah. we're close to Boston. And the hockey team here is the Bruins. Yeah. Not the Red Wings. Yeah, that was my immediate thought. And so you're like, I'm going to bring that to This Is The Day tomorrow well, yeah. and throw it up there and see what Bo does with it. <laughs> that's, exactly, uh-huh. that's exactly what happened. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, i got to get a picture of this because that's a, that's a, A, that's a stupid thought, Drew. That I, you know, my brain was just like, Red Wings, that's Detroit. We're not near there, are we? <laughs> You know, it's like, <laughs> there's so many things happening there, like you know, lack of geography, lack of sports. I, like, I'm going to take responsibility okay. here, people. I, you know what? I have enabled him. You know, I, <laughs> I keep walk, just going along, <laughs> right along with you. <laughs> and for some reason today, I just uh, was like, I've had enough. I've had enough. <laughs> Well, <laughs> you just wait for this dream that I got to tell you about, and then I really will move on. But I had a dream that I was, uh, I was there's, a, there's a glass. You investigate, you know, the investigative glass where you can, like, like the two-way mirror? The two, yeah, you know, the one-way glass, whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever, yeah. Uh, and so there's, I'm behind there. There are people inside of a room discussing how um, odd my eyebrows are. <laughs> I mean, and time is weird. Time is weird in dreams. It felt like 30 minutes these people are just discussing, like, how abhorrent my eyebrows are. 
And like, it was something I'm like, I don't feel co- like self-conscious about it. I got in, I woke up insecure about my eyebrows, <laughs> how accurate and like just mean these people were in the dream. <laughs> it was like the weirdest thing. So there was a focus group. There was a focus group. For Drew Chris eyebrows. Yeah, there was like this small, like, uh, <laughs> small TV in the corner, and like my face was on the TV, and they're just like, yeah, that just seems uneven, and like, I don't know, I know you're looking at them now. I am now, now I'm like, they they could be a little fuller. (laughs) That's, they're a little sparse. I think they said that in the dream. They, oh, oh, there was so much flying. It was a little sparse. You know where it's like, okay, I give three or four comments, they kept coming, they I mean, maybe if you didn't have the facial hair, it wouldn't like show how sparse they are. (laughs) Sparse. I'm, do, I'm putting the liquid on at night. I'm trying to grow them. Putting the miracle grow I'm on. Putting the miracle grow. <laughs> That's what I did last night, Bo. Bo, what did you do last <laughs> night? <laughs> it took way too uh, much time. No, it's okay. Yeah, no, last night I took a break from you. Uh, <laughs> it's always good. Uh, yeah, made a, little, uh, made a little dinner. We got the HelloFresh coming, so I like that. I like just... There's my ingredients, here's the recipe. Although I, I've, I've found that I've cooked enough different things now that I kind of look at the recipe card and go, yeah. eh, I, I got it, I got do my thing, throw that out, take the ingredients, make something delicious. So did that. Um, and then I was hanging out watching The Office with Inslee and uh, Liza, our oldest, comes in. She's like, Dad, you want to see what I was just doing outside? And uh, I was like, okay, so my 19-year-old daughter was out in the backyard, and I'm like, yeah, show me. And she's really excited, so she showed me this video right here. <laughs> it's pretty hardcore right That's there. hardcore, man. Yeah, she's like training for the X Games. Oh, that, man. <laughs> you see her? Oh, it's X Game went, mode. We're right over that bridge on that scooter. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got, some, got some pretty good air there. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, I mean, you know, going across a bridge like that, you could <laughs> topple. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I even asked her, I was like, can I show that? <laughs> on, on This Is the Day. She's like, yeah. Absolutely. People need to see it. People need to know. <laughs> I'm looking, uh, she's looking for sponsors right now, right? Is that right? For, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So to continue in her training. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> take, take the next step. So Razor, I think, is pretty interesting. We're in talks, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, just, right. we just started that. You're uploading that video <laughs> to her YouTube page. <laughs> like, you have anything else? I'm working yeah, on it. I mean, that's our start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Her starting point. <laughs> it's not too late for her. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was about the highlight of yep. my evening. Glad I got to share Any that. eyebrow dreams? No. Okay. Uh, no. And right. I hope I never do. Yeah, it was yeah. It was not fun. No, I mean, people, like, it, it can look like I don't even have eyebrows. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm very well aware that as I'm making fun of the sparseness of yours, <laughs> oh, no. mine are, like, white, you know, and you're like, isn't that anything? You ever thought about dyeing them? No, nope. no, no, I haven't. No, okay. every now and then I do get that crazy, you know, getting Boink. old, getting older, right? Boink. The weird hairs. Uh, it's like, like, like the thickness of twelve hairs put together. <laughs> like, how did this happen? What is wow, this special look at you. hair? Look at you, I, massive hair. Who's just like, I'm doing what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you big are guy. crazy hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take. I was. I kind of wish I had like a container that I get when I pull one of those. I get just keep them. Keep them all together. I feel bad. Like I, you know, it's like you are really special. You are so large and so thick and 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 dark and and I'm gonna throw you away. I just it gotta, feels a little wrong. Cause they are. They sharp. They're very sharp. Yeah. I wonder how long that. You know, he was like in there going. I'm all right. Now's my time. Yep. I got one of those uh, people in my life who just will come up and grab them, mm. pluck them right out. Yeah. Man. Oof. I do too. Yeah. Yeah, when I see the the It's coming. When I see the pinchers coming, I run. She's <laughs> no. like, let me do it. I'm like, you have to catch me. And so the reason I work out, it's like an outrunner. I can outrun. <laughs> Good luck, woman. Good luck. <laughs> okay. All yeah. Right. Oh. All right. <laughs> the verse of the day. You version Bible app gives us a verse of the day. We encourage you to download the app. Read the verse of the day. Today is from Psalm ninety one. Psalm ninety one. Psalm 91, it says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Mm-hmm. Really good stuff there. Um, so yeah, this, this uh, thought of dwelling 
in the shelter of the Most High. Mm. Uh, it, it, it's the thought of being close to God, like in close proximity, aware of his presence and, and dwelling. I used to ask people all the time, are, are you dwelling? Mm. Are you dwelling? And just to, to dwell in the presence, because whenever you know, our wheels are shot off and you know, we're frazzled and we, we, are, we, we kind of become like that one hair, mm-hmm. a little too big for our britches and doing our own thing. And <laughs> you're going to get plucked, right? When you're like that. It's like you're not, you're not in line with the, the rest of the brows there. You're not in line with, with, uh, with the creation and how God has created mm-hmm. things. And, and it's crazy. And, you, you know, I'd, a great question to ask is, all right, am I dwelling? Mm. Am I dwelling in the shadow and the shelter of the Lord? And can I say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust, my refuge mm. and my fortress. Can I share a dwelling thought yeah, please. right now? So there's a, a guy who writes songs named Sean Curran, and there's a song that for years, I just, I don't know why, I keep coming back to it, uh, and it's, God, and basically the idea is God is bigger than I thought you were. So it's kind of the refrain of the song is you're bigger than I thought you were. And I just keep coming back to this idea of like, man, every day it feels like there, I'm getting a new, a renewed sense of just how big uh, and, and just inclusive and large and truthful and faithful. And, you know, all these words that just keep getting added, like how big God truly is. And he's bigger than I thought. Oh, you know? yeah. Um, so Plenty and big enough. Big enough. That's a good thing to yeah. remember. I mean, we can't, I don't think we really comprehend the magnitude of God, mm. but he's big enough. Yep. Yeah, he's definitely big For enough. Sure. I like that too. He's our refuge. Mm. Yeah, and uh, our fortress. I, it made me think of like when you were uh, a kid, you know, and you're playing tag and bass. 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 I, I, walked, I was walking through the kitchen the other day and uh, I poked Liza, just poked mm. her in the, the ribs, and she started to chase me. I ran four feet, jumped on one tile, and I said, bass. You claimed bass. I just bass. Yeah, that's what you do. You just this, this is bass. You can't. can't and she, it, it made her laugh. She started laughing. She's like, I forgot all about bass. I'm like, yeah, hey, you gotta, you gotta have bass. Yes. I'm on, I'm on bass. You can't get me here. I'm safe here. And you know, it's like it's a crazy world. And there's all kinds of like, uh, I mean, it's dangerous. There's yeah. there's all there's there's emotional dangers. There's physical dangers. There's mm. You know, uh, all kinds of risks uh, that are going on, but when you run into the presence of our big and mighty God, mm-hmm. he's a refuge and a fortress. So, yep. love that. Yep. That's why on uh, Survivor, you know, uh, that's one of the first things they do. They build that shelter, you know, because there's so many dangers and risks and things. They know they got to get underneath that shelter. Lord Almighty. There Lord Almighty is. Yeah, shelter, where shelter is. So, all right, Drew. So, I got this, uh, this closet. That's right. And in this closet is a calendar. With a K. It is not with a K. Okay. It's still with the C. We uh-huh. are not going to. K is its own thing. Okay. Okay. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do that. So I have this closet calendar, and once a day I go in there and I tear one page off, and I bring it to the light of day. That's right. So today we've got some advice. I need some advice for living your best life. Oh, you're gonna like this. Mm-hmm. Advice for living your best life. Figure out what you love to do, and then figure out how to get someone to pay you to do it. <laughs> Have you heard this before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good advice for living your best life. Figure out what you love to do and then figure out how to get someone to pay you to do it. Man, w- that couldn't be more true in this gig economy, right? I just feel like everybody's got that side hustle, you know? It's happening. Side hustle? This is your primary hustle, <laughs> brother. All right, let's, no, no, I'm not talking no, about, no, me, no, no, I'm no, talking about no, what I no, see no. out there. Yeah. Let's speak some truth right now. Okay, please. Okay. Please. You, you've uh-huh. crafted a mug right. that says, this is day. This is day. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, mm-hmm. For some reason, there's a cabbage sitting on top of it. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Yeah. Um, here we have Wait uh, a, second. <laughs> a mug. I'm going to be very careful with uh-huh, it. Yeah. That says, all-star dad. Yeah, yeah. That um, I accidentally broke yesterday. Bo broke my mug. I, I was going to talk about that. I broke his mug yesterday, and I felt bad. I was like, oh, did your kids give this to you? He says, no, I bought it for myself. Uh-huh. Okay, <laughs> so that has been glued back together. No, no, I have not yet. I got to I got Oh, glue it's just it. pieced together. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's pretty impressive <laughs> that, that I didn't destroy it. <laughs> and you're taking pictures, uh, you know, in your downtime of the Red Wing shoe store. That's right. And... This is your job. You know, I honestly, I think maybe the eldership here, 
Uh, maybe he needs to rethink some things. No, I'm just kidding. I don't yeah. know how you did it. It's like, you know what? We're going to hire Drew Chris to come and be our online campus pastor. And somehow or the other, this happened. This happened. <laughs> uh, listen. This is you. Figure out what you love to do. Don't, listen, it's you too. What do you mean? I didn't do anything. I learned it from you. <laughs> I'm learning most of it from what? you. What? <laughs> I'm, I don't enjoy this at all. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> this is miserable work. I show up every day yes. like, I can't believe I have to do I this. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, it's crazy. No, I pitch myself almost every day. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And if that, you know, sponsorship would come through. If that, that sponsorship, would, that would, I'm going to, I love that we get to do this for like maybe a couple more days, you know, <laughs> but until that sponsorship comes through. Hey man, this is the day. This could be the last one. I know it. This could be, <laughs> we mean it guys. When we say this, we mean it. Eric Vines makes like $300,000. It's expensive. Yeah, honey. producers are hard to find. <laughs> okay. That's right. not true. Uh, not true. So, uh, so yeah. No, that's a good. Yeah, it's, it's. I think it's good advice. I say yeah. that to my kids. Like, but with that, you got to work hard. You got to work hard. You got to work hard. Yeah. yeah. Get, get after it. You know. <laughs> Be opportunistic too. You see that red wing shoe sign? Oh man. You, mean, you want to take a picture get of that? It. That's gold. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. All right. And then in my uh, kitchen, there's a, a calendar on the fridge. It gives us a national day to celebrate. Yep. And uh, so every day is worth celebrating. Some, you know, we might think more so than others. It's yep. just like life. Uh, so I know some people are going to be really jazzed about today, and others are going to be like, what? I don't like it. Oh, here we go. Today is National Fresh Veggie Day. Mm. National Fresh mm. Veggie Day. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, finally. Those, those cats do a lot of cake. They talk a lot about cakes well, and all kinds pies of junk food, and yeah. junk food, and it's like, finally, some fresh veggies. I like the fresh veggies. I do too. Here's my deal. I like, uh, I like my veggies crisp. Mm, That's why I like, like your last name. It makes me think of like, you know, something's good for you. It's crisp. I like most things crisp. Yeah. Yeah. I like them. I like them crisp. Um, so like uh, we have some fresh veggies here. We have yep. some some carrots and, and celery. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You have yeah, a preference? I want to take carrot. Are you going carrot? Yep. Um, are you going carrot? No, I'll go celery. I like them both. Yep. Um, are they? So do you just like, well, what, I mean, what do you, you do? You want to really enjoy this. I mean, it's a it's a fine. Yeah, it's like it's veggie. Oh, uh, uh, is, this, is this a Cuban wanna... carrot? Mm. <laughs> you gotta snip the end. Oh, you gotta snip it. Yeah. Mm, there is a good. Okay, yeah. Mm. Uh huh. People love when you eat on camera. I do, you got. You just get right in there. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know, the thing about celery is it's really hard. To talk? To talk. Yeah. When you have it in your mouth, to get it all chewed up, so yeah. you can swallow it. Bo, this is the time for us to talk about our shared love for Chuck Lorre. Okay. And Bugs Bunny. Love Bugs Bunny. Yeah. yeah. And he was always eating that carrot. What up, Doc? Yep. Um, brilliant. Brilliant character. All right. That's about it. <laughs> you know, if my wife heard this right now, There'd be a beat down. Why? The sound of people chewing. She didn't like it? Mm, oh my oh, God. Oh man. Yeah, not okay. Well, I know that our viewers are probably, they're done. With this? Yeah. But yeah. I'm not done. <laughs> I mean, I won't do another one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Man, that's a good piece of celery. It's so fresh. <laughs> you just go straight. You're not putting any um, peanut butter or? No, I love the celery. Okay. Love the celery. Yeah. It says like you, you burn calories while you're eating celery. Really? Yeah. I'm not sure how that works. So like run and eat celery? It's just so like... hard to digest. Like your body's like, arr, arr. <laughs> come on in, celery. Come on in here. <laughs> they take care of you. <laughs> They're just... <laughs> it's like a workout for your digestive system. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but uh, for Fresh Veggie Day, I decided to write a, write a song. No, you did. I did. I, okay. can't, I can I can hardly wait. I brought a, I brought a cabbage. You okay. did. So there seems to be a, a trend out there on the TikTok. You know, we're in the TikTok series, mm -hmm. Book oh, of James. Sure. Yeah. Um, there's a social media app called the TikTok, and uh, um, it's not called the TikTok. I sound very old when I say that, right? It's called the TikToks. The TikToks? TikTok. It's the TikToks. Just tick and talk. Okay. No, they're wrong. It's T the TikToks. Here's what I love about TikTok. Let me throw it out there. Um, no C. We've gotten rid of C. We don't need him. 
K's strong in the TikTok. Love the K. You got a song? Here we go. <laughs> um, we're gonna turn it on. Uh, we're gonna get us a beat going here, okay? No. Yeah, there it is. All right, here we go. Get ready for it. I got my cabbage. All right, here we go. I'm a cabbage. Leafy circle cabbage. Crunchy, goody, tasty. What's happening? Cabbage. I'm a cabbage. <laughs> I'm a cabbage. What's happening? I'm a carrot. I'm a carrot. Orange and crunchy, I'm a carrot. I'm a carrot. What's happening? What's up, cabbage? I'm a cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. All right. That was my song. I'm being really tempted to eat the rest of this carrot, so. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Whoa! Whoa! Uh oh, we have damage. We have damage. I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, fresh yeah. veggie day. Fresh veggie day. Eat, Eat some vegetables. Eat, Eat some veggies. your vegetables. Eat your veggies. Eat your vegetables. They're good for you. Mm. How important is veggies? Are? Hey, man. <clears throat> wow, the carrots are to swallow. <laughs> and the celery. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, man, can I have some of your water? Oh, broken. <laughs> I'm an all star dad. Yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> Another reason to celebrate. Uh, today <laughs> is we have a birthday. Birthday! Yeah, so this is the day. Yep. You know what, we love to celebrate on this is the day. That's right. And uh, if you have a birthday coming up or you know somebody with a birthday coming up, send us an email to this is the day at manchesterchristian.com. We'd love to celebrate your birthday, but today's birthday, Kristen Emery! Yeah. Kristen Emery! What? Happy birthday! <laughs> Kristen, uh, we have two celery sticks for you. Yep. Um, these are set aside just for you. Happy we'll, birthday to you. What we you will say? put them in the Pony Express and they will be there in three months. Three months. Mm -hmm. Crisp as ever. Crisp as ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to sing to her. Yeah, let's sing to her. That's oh, my favorite oh, part yeah, of the birthday celebration. <clears throat> mm. Hold on. Real Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Krista. Happy birthday. Another day, another year <laughs> of life, and many more. Yeah. You all right over there? No, I, yeah, I had a birthday song incident. <laughs> got some carrot. Bars. I got birthday song syndrome. <laughs> I got birthday song. <laughs> I need my pills. <laughs> hey, we're all gonna sing to Kristen. I can't sing it. I, I have the syndrome. syndrome. <laughs> I can't sing it. <laughs> can't. It can't be done. It can't be done. Get my pills, we need to sing. <laughs> Get my pills, where's my pills? All right, Drew. Yep. Yesterday was Monday. That's right. We had some motivation, motivation mm. Monday. Mm -hmm. Which brings us to Tuesday. That's right. We got Tuesday's tips. Tuesday's tips. You got some tips for us? I really do. I know, I'm excited. Okay, so okay. I noticed, um, you know, I learned this from, uh, from my time here up at MCC. The jean jacket is strong up here. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, I see it with you and I see it with the the Eric Vines, I see it with the Dan King. A lot of people wearing the jean jackets. Of course, yeah. What I did not notice, and again, I just kind of went, I, I just took my own road on this one. Uh, I was like, I think there needs to be some bling on the jean jacket. Um, saw this, okay. Um, the film Onward? I don't know if you can call it a film. Film. There's a film, there's a cartoon. Okay. Uh, in the cartoon, one of the monster characters has like a sleeves, like had been cut off the jean jacket and he's got some flair. Oh, you, I know what you're talking you about. Seen Is that the, like Chris Pratt? Chris character? Pratt's okay. character has yeah. some like flair and I was like, I like what he's done there, that cartoon character uh -huh. who's purple. Um, I like what he's done. Mm -hmm. So I decided to, to bling up my jacket and um, Eric, you, I'm giving him some tips okay. on how to bling up the jacket. And, and also for you, you do bling, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do the bling. I this hood is kind of blocking it, but oh, I've yeah. got I've got one bit of bling okay. right here on the top. One one. Pen, I'm pen. looking to improve. I'm trying to learn from the master, yeah, please, Drew please. Crisp, absolutely, A.K. Master Crispy. <laughs> I'm a cabbage. Um, so yeah, we have pray for one enamel pins, and that's honestly for me. That's the first tip. 
is if you can find enamel, enamel, enamel. I'm sorry, his name is Craftmaster Crisp. Craft Master. I couldn't let that go by. It's Craftmaster Crisp. <laughs> Yeah. What, did, what did you say? It doesn't matter. It, the right answer is Craftmaster Crisp. Please right. proceed, Craftmaster okay. Crisp. Uh, again, I, for me, it begins with, can I find an enamel pin that really identifies uh, with what I believe? And I really think the Pray For One, uh, where is it? Right here. Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, that's, I love that vision, love that sure. mission, you know. And then I've got my safety patrol up here. I've had this for a long time. I was... Captain of the safety patrol in fifth grade. So, not to brag. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, really got everyone across. We had no accidents. There. Drew, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was just assumed. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think I had the every, sash. Oh, oh, you're squad of safety patrol? <laughs> yes, you wore the sash. You got the sash, and it's like, all right, Respect go ahead. the sash. <laughs> what I love, too, is there was always like an, a, a, a crossing guard. We were just like assistant to the crossing guard, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, one thing also you, I, I'm I, minimally so, and for some of you, maybe you're a uh, fantastic um, seamstress and seamsters, is it? Seamsters? Se I don't know. I know. Um, you know, like, your wife is very, uh, very good at these, these type of things. Very crafty. Very crafty. Yeah. Um, but they, they do the iron-ons. So I, when I purchased this jacket for ten dollars at Walmart, uh, I got the iron-on patches as well, Bo. Uh, so just find the patches that you you like, and you just you organize them wherever you want to organize them. This was my uh, soccer one, growing up, um, spring of '89, the Flame Kickers. Yep. Um, real, real time. I'm not making that up. Uh, we were the Flame Kickers, and yeah. So that's pretty much. Any, True. Any questions? I well. What if, so, you know, you see my jacket, mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. I have actually ironed on every patch I like. <laughs> so I, I feel like maybe I'm done. <laughs> like every, mm -hmm. and they're ordered exactly how I would want to you've, order them. You've never found a patch that you've liked. No. Challenge accepted. <laughs> Challenge accepted. I will find the head of Chuck Norris. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, come Not on. even close. <laughs> Not even in the ballpark. You wouldn't even put like a pray for one enamel pin on? No. What if I got you a Mr. Rogers head enamel pin? No. I found that one the other day. No. I need to get that one. Okay, we're not even in the ballpark. Oh, man. Are you done with your tips? I think so. Is that <laughs> Eric? Did you have any questions, Eric, on the uh, blinging? I, I, I don't have any questions personally, but I will say this is that if uh, you find any uh, sort of pins or uh, patches that maybe Bo would like, mm. you can send it to this is the day at manchesterchristian.com mm. uh, and we'll try and see if we can convince him that, yeah. uh, that there's like patches that. that he does enjoy. I so. like that. Sure. We'll see what, we'll see what we get there. Or I, I will say this too, if any of you, you know, back in the 80s and 90s happened to have bought one of those bedazzlers Ooh. and it's just sitting in your closet, uh, Drew Chris would love to start mm. bedazzling some things. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can go ahead and ship that on over. Uh, <laughs> just bedazzle these cuffs. I think. I think. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see what you could do with a bedazzler. Mm. Yeah, I'm in. Crafty. What'd you master craft, Chris? <laughs> True craft master, Chris. <laughs> craft master, Chris. Mm. Do you know what that is? That's a union leader over there. I have. You have the union leader. A union leader. Yep. New Hampshire, mm -hmm. premier paper, That's really right. uh, worldwide. The AP draws heavily yep. from uh, here, yep. uh, what's happening in, in the union leader. What's happening? Um, I want you to know that there is, uh, right here on the front page, there's a controversial gas station project uh, revival. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean, these gas stations, you know, like conveniently placed where, yeah. where you could like get some fuel for yeah. a vehicle absolutely and uh you know maybe a you know some milk something like that yep. on your way home uh they're very controversial very yeah we we want to make getting gas in new hampshire as difficult as humanly possible <laughs> let's get those as far off the beaten path <laughs> yeah. as you can i so. think it's down this road <laughs> oh you see when i first moved here you know you're like driving down the highway and it says you know gas and i'm like oh good i need to get some gas and you exit there's no gas station at the exit and then there's like an arrow and it points and so you turn five miles down the road. <laughs> I'm like, just so you know, New Hampshire, it's not like that way anywhere else in the country. Passing other highways. <laughs> it's like, I just went through three towns. I still haven't gotten to a gas station yet. What is wrong with you?
<laughs> I'm anti-fuel. <laughs> okay, so bizarre. <laughs> I know, we just lost like half our viewership. Oh, oh. I ate the gans. Draw my lines? Yeah, you're crusty. <laughs> okay, uh, there, there was some, oh wait. This is kind of wild. Uh, thought this was, this was interesting. Uh, back page here. Star Wars celebration canceled for first time due to pandemic. Oh no. What, I, How what? How far will this go? I don't understand what's going to, What's going to happen? Oh, like man. all the things that have gone wrong in this world, and I'm now, so adroid by this. Huh. <laughs> now a Star Wars celebration, <laughs> and here's the thing: I I didn't know this. It was scheduled for August 27th through August 30th. Whoa, <laughs> we got three days. <laughs> that's like the 27th, the 28th, the 29th, the 30th, bro. That's that's a made. That's a four day. <laughs> Honey, where are you going again? <laughs> you need you need four days. It takes four days going just to, to continuously watch every installment of that nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> People are crying right now. Ooh. I see that the Oscars have been postponed yeah. as well. Yeah, nobody really cares. What's well, like, how do I how am I gonna know what I'm supposed to be angry about if oh, I don't true. watch yeah. all the speeches? That's true. Penguins and people again. I love penguins. They're the wiener dogs Man. of the sea. Weird. There they are. Penguins. Pen penguins in the bay. I mean, that's the thing. You got all this stuff. I'm mad. And how dare they put a gas station in? And penguins. Star Wars canceled. Penguins. <laughs> Have you ever looked at a penguin and were like mad? No. No, me either. Yeah. I'm like, look at them. And then there's this. Uh, oh, well, you want to get mad? There's this other article here. Not an article. Family circus. Man, I saw this today. And I, you know what? I just, this is. This has to stop. This I'm, is not okay. I'm with you. I know I'm going to be with you on this. Okay, so we got these two kids. It looks like uh, they're eating some lunch. I see no, first of all, no fresh veggies anywhere in sight. I, <laughs> I, I don't understand what's, what's happening here. I mean, maybe we can get them, you know, some fresh veggies, you know, what's, what's happening. I would say maybe mom's not involved, but then you got this, this older sister being a snitch. Snitch. Is snitching on her little brother, and he's over here unsupervised. Billy. With with a, a container of mustard, and she said, "Mommy, Billy's riding with the mustard." Okay, so much going on here that it's just unacceptable. Um, kids, you know, no veggies. A sister who just is snitching on her little brother, and uh, he's if he's old enough to write, he should be old enough, you know, to to not play with his food. Oh, I Am was, I right? Well, Am I right? Man, this might be actually, for me, the first time I've ever seen eye to eye with one of the members of this family. Wow. Like, you absolutely write with food. Like, you absolutely do anything creative with food. Pancakes, make that a Mickey Mouse. Pancake art, have you seen that stuff? Incredible. Write with mustard and ketchup. Take the relish, make it the snot that comes out of the nose. Absolutely, use your food. This is incredible. I don't know why she's, why is she getting angry at him? He's making art right there. Oh, well, hold on. Now, I mean, when you say it that way, I look at it and I'm thinking, I, I may have been projecting my emotion onto her. Maybe she's like, Mommy! Mommy! Look, he's doing it. He's writing with the mustard. That's probably what's happening there. He's doing the thing that we all love. Mom, he's doing what you taught him. He's, <laughs> he's writing. He wrote his name for the first time. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That's what's happening there. I. This yep. is a moment to celebrate, Absolutely. not to be angry about. Family Circus, you uh, nailed it this time. God. You nailed it. Yep. yep. I think they're listening to us. I missed that completely. They're listening. Totally, totally off there. Yep. Yep. Hey, in case you didn't know, the weather's in the paper. Oh. Like, if you need to know what the weather is, you don't have to watch this as the day. You don't. I mean, you we want you to, but... Pick up a paper. You can just look at the paper. Weather's right there. Oh. Um, it's going to be like, uh, I don't know, 76 degrees. Oh, that's an eight. <laughs> 78 degrees. <laughs> 78. And, and sunny. Whoa. Okay. I love it. Now you know. Oh. Now love you know. Can yeah. you hear the chuckle? Let's hear the chuckle. All right, last okay. thing. Here's the chuckle. Today's chuckle. By the time opportunity knocks, you'll probably have turned your hearing aid off. Okay. Okay. 
What'd you say? That's fun. That's a good one. Well, it's kind of insightful, you know? It's yeah. like, if you're sitting around waiting for opportunity to come to your door, it's not gonna happen. What I've always said is do what you love and then try to get someone to pay you to do That's it. That's right, you gotta go out and That's hustle. <laughs> <laughs> do what you love. You gotta hustle. Hustle, you go knock on some doors. You gotta hustle. No, it is a gig economy. You don't, you don't, do you agree with that? Like people are doing their, their thing, you know? They're making- well, There's so many outlets. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. You got you got the TikToks? You got the TikToks? <laughs> out there hustling. Etsy's yeah. still rolling. Yeah. Yeah, man. YouTube. Just... I mean, yeah. Yep. I mean, <laughs> we have a daily we show. We have a show to get on. <laughs> what? What? I'm a cabbage. <laughs> Leafy circle cabbage. Uh, we, <laughs> we, have we have a daily talk show. <laughs> what? My goodness. <laughs> and more than Eric just watches. There's a few people that watch. And people sharing the show. People share and say you should to watch get it. one of these. To get one. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's so stupid. I'm an all-star dad. <laughs> <laughs> and here's right. the thing, I've written all these books. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote a book, he's written a lot of books and they're really good. And every day on this show I'm like, it's time for Every Day with Jesus. <laughs> a book I wrote. A book I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> that you can buy on Amazon. And they're really good. Yeah. It's amazing. June 16th, all right. for the day. All right. Here we go. Our refusal to lay our burdens down shows us so much uh, slows us so much that eventually Jesus is nothing more than a tiny dot on the distant horizon. All right, I'm gonna read it again, because yep. this was a sentence I wrote a long time ago that I really liked. Our refusal to lay our burdens down slows us so much that eventually Jesus is nothing more than a tiny dot on the distant horizon. I'm gonna unpack it in just a second, but the okay. verse is Matthew 11, verse 28. Jesus says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you, what's it say? Rest. Rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I'm gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Mm. All right, I'm passionate about this mm. right here, all right? Mm. When we refuse to lay our burdens down, these, these heavy burdens, our anxiety, our stress, our fear, our anger, our sin, uh, um, our, our unforgiveness, our bitterness, our rage, all the, our hurts and our pains and all this stuff that's been done to us and these things that we think, well, no, they're mine and I've earned them and I need them. We keep holding on to them. They weigh us down so much that it's impossible to walk with Jesus. Mm. <clears throat> and then you look around one day and you're like, Jesus, where are you? Like where, you know, and he's like this, this tiny dot on the horizon because we're so out of step with what the Holy Spirit's doing that you know, while he'll never leave us nor forsake us, it's like we're so far in the attitudes of our hearts and in, you know, the, the execution and the way we live our lives. We're so far off from the mind of God and what he's called us to that he's like this little tiny dot on the distant horizon. So Jesus says, hey, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened. He says, I'm going to give you rest. I'll take those burdens off of you because following Jesus, I mean, we're going to go on some, some tough paths and we're going to go through some real trials and some real difficulties and you can't follow them when you're carrying all that other stuff. Yep. You got to travel light. got to travel light to follow Jesus. His, his burden is light. Mm. His burden is light, which is great. Man. Yeah, which he, also, I love this. He says that, that we are the, the light of the world. Mm. Then when he puts his Holy Spirit inside of us that we're like a city on a hill, like, like saying, hey, refuge, you know, come come in to, uh, he, it, it's drawing people, it's attractive. And so our burden is, is light in the sense that it's, it's not heavy or burdensome, mm -hmm. um, but it's also just, you just let light shine. Mm -hmm. You don't cover it up, don't hide it, let light shine. Mm. You can't do that when you got all this stuff around it, all these heavy burdens, you just wanted to strip that away. So, yeah, what is, I mean, something to wrestle with today, what's Jesus wanna strip away from you today? What, what can you release and, and let go? Yeah. That word rest falls heavy because it does feel like, I think the question in my mind is, do I even know how to do that? Like, do we even know how to rest, you know? And I think that the same call that Jesus made years ago and is making today, come to me, all who are weary, I'll give you this rest. Yeah. You can rest. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good word, chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Mm. That's good. Chill out. Okay, <laughs> play a little uh, trivia pursuit. Let's do it. All right, here we go. 
So we're going to play a game of Trivial Pursuit, 1981 edition of the game, the original. Drew Chris draws a card at random from the center of the box. If you get all six right, we will send you a congratulatory fun dip in the mail. So you will receive that. Uh, only way to get one of these is get all six right. But if you want a mug, share the show. And you might want a mug tomorrow. That was a mistake. All right. <laughs> there we go. So uh, <laughs> yeah. type, your, type your answers in. Make a guess. Just, I'm going to make a guess at all six. Yep. Make a guess. If you get all six right, we're going to send you a fun dip. Let's go. Oh, uh, blue. Blue. Geography. What product built Hershey, Pennsylvania? What product? It's a tough one. Built Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yeah, I can't believe they gave us a, a freebie. So it would be chocolate would That's be right. the product. Mm -hmm. And I think their most famous is... The, the Reese's. Reese's! Reese's, Reese's. All right, here Except we go. It's definitely Reese's. <laughs> I've been there. I even asked them. Plus, you watch their commercials. It's Reese's. Maybe. Love you, Reese's out there. Hey, nope. Pink. Reese's Pieces. <laughs> okay, pink. Uh, entertainment. All right. What was the sequel to Going My Way? What was the sequel to Going My Way? Man, I can't even believe way. they made a sequel. Going My Way was such a great film. Mm-hmm. Mm. Going my, <laughs> what is the sequel to Going What's My Way? All right, the sequel to Going uh, My Way? I'm going to say uh, Going My Way, the sequel to Going My Way is Going Her Way. <laughs> it is, uh, that's incorrect, it's The Bells of St. Mary's. I was close. The Bells yeah. of St. Mary's. The Bells of St. Mary's. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you want to share a cab? I thought it was. <laughs> going My Way, you want to share, share a cab? cab? All right, here we go. Uh, yellow? Yellow, History. All right. Who argued it out in the kitchen debate? Who argued it out in the kitchen debate? <laughs> the sumptuous <laughs> yeah, in me. Absolutely. Right, right. There wasn't really a debate. It wasn't really a debate. <laughs> More of a lecture at that yeah. point. <laughs> Who are in the kitchen debate? Yeah. Uh, man, I, I'm going to say uh, the kitchen debate. Was Nixon one of them? Yep. Nixon and McGovern. No, Nikita Khrushchev. Oh, okay. Nikita Khrushchev. Yeah, man, Khrushchev. Khrushchev. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, Brown. I got one right. Half right. Yeah. Yeah, half a point. Get half a point? <laughs> Do we do that? Sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> half point. You need six, though. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, I'm not getting fun dip. All right. One and a half in this other one. <laughs> Brown. Brown, art and literature. Who created British master spy George Smiley? Who created British master spy George Smiley? George Smiley. Oh. Um, George Smiley. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a really lame Bond. It, yeah, well, I know. It's, so, I mean, I was going to guess. I mean, Ian Fleming created Bond. I'm trying to think. Ian Fleming. No, uh, John LeCar. John LeCar. John LeCar. Man. Okay. George Smiley. George Smiley. Master spy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Green. Smiley. Smiley. George Smiley. George Smiley. He's like the worst spy because he's just like always so happy. He's, so happy. he's like, well, I'm a spy. What do you do? <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, I'm so Man, sorry. you did it again. Well, I did it again. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Oh, oh, darn. I'm the worst spy. Shaken or stirred? Stir. <laughs> I'll make my own. Here, let me show you. <laughs> Can you blend it? I love smoothies. <laughs> I'm George Smiley. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, green? Green. Signs of nature. <laughs> what was the claim to fame of King Camp Gillette? The fame to claim, claim to fame of King Camp Gillette. Gillette. Well, his name's Gillette, people, so definitely something to do with a razor. Does it want a specific one? Nope. Uh, safety? Nope. No? Yep. Just, just the razor? Yep, the razor. Vend it, it invented the razor? Invented the safety razor. Safety razor. That's yeah. what I said. Yeah, I absolutely. want a specific razor. Safety One and a half. Razor. No, I, oh yeah, One bonus, because you were, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Invented, invented the safety yeah. razor. Yep. I'm taking notes. That's, um, that's the best a man can get. Gillette. Yep. <laughs> uh, not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. No. Not a sponsor. No. You know, I'll talk about this. Uh, orange. Orange. Uh, sports and leisure. Okay. What sports uses clowns to protect the competitors. <laughs> Boots and chairs, it's a hair. What sport uses clowns <laughs> to protect? Wild in the knuckle, hold in the book, and the beep, 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 beep. Right, Are you so done? I'm done, sorry, go ahead. Rodeo. Rodeo is correct. Rodeo. Rodeo. There are a couple of freebie questions there. Pretty good, yeah. but I mean, that's a pretty tough card. 
No, nah, just you the, didn't think so. No, just the pink and the brown. Oof. Oh, and the yellow was. I only got half these. Right. But I got one and a half. So one and a half. Out. <laughs> even out. Hey, if you got all six right, let us know. We'll yep. send you a fun dip in the mail. Yep. And uh, we'll also send you some of these. I don't want them. They're Listerine ready tabs. Chew, swish, and swallow. Uh, wow. How disgusting is that? <laughs> I don't want them. I don't know why I bought them. Isn't that gross? I'll take them. Yeah. Do you use them? I don't know. I've never had them. Do you swallow? You sw swish your mouth out. What are you supposed to do? Spit it out. Why do they want you to swallow? Well, maybe it's because it's not toxic. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Felt gross to me. I did it once and I was like, this mm, feels weird. Feels weird. You could spit it out. You don't have to follow I guess you could. The, no, that's what it's The said. directions. <laughs> you could go ahead and spit that out. If you, you want to try that again? Good call. Maybe okay, I just yeah. do this and then. Okay. <laughs> Good call. You can, okay. just, you can spit it out. Yeah, you could. All right. All right you want to do a little uh, sermon? Sermon. Oh, here we go. Hold on. You got, you got something for yep. us? Right? Another go. cabbage song? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Here we go. Cabbage. Let's listen to the sermon. Okay, here we go. No. Sermon. Sermon. Remix. 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 Nice. And so when it comes to discrimination, I, I want to give you a, a few thoughts on this. Discrimination does this. It, it forgets the reality of Christian unity. It just throws it out the door. It says, well, it, it doesn't really matter. And we can make all the excuses in the world we want for it. And, and yet, if you, if you look at our world, like um, in terms of, of racial discrimination, for instance, um, you know, we, we live in the United States that has this, this long, very divided history. We had a civil war. Um, over, you know, this very thing and, and our history with slavery and then the oppression of people and, and the systemic racism that, that is fostered and exists and is, is promoted uh, probably, but definitely tolerated and accepted in the churches. Now, I just want you to hit in the, in our churches. Now, what, what I mean by that? Well, out of every place I've ever been in every kind of, of social organization or business or anything else in our country, there is nothing as racially divided and segregated as our churches. And yet the family of God is a mixture of, of everyone. So why can't we worship together now? We're going to be together forever in his glory, in his heaven, with him and his home, They're sharing a home together as family. What are we doing? And we say, well, well, maybe we can't help it. You know, this is just the, the nature of things. Well, I, no, it's a dying to self. Uh, the reason we're not doing this is, is, is because a lot of our, even our methodology, uh, the methodology we choose, you know, where we might say, oh, well, we love everyone and everyone's welcome. And of course, but I mean, we don't want to adapt any methodology that might make this a more comfortable environment or a more uh, a suitable place to learn and grow and develop and invite your friends and your neighbors and coworkers. We don't, we don't do anything. Out of this portion for me, Bo, of the sermon, I think I immediately went to this question of like, okay, promoted, maybe tolerated for sure. How do we then understand that of like, because there's a principle out there in place of like the homogeneous unit principle where like like attracts like, people with similar interests gather together. And so people that hang around each other typically like each other, you know, or have the same similarities in their life. And so like that just kind of maybe naturally happens. So then how do we continue to seek the diversity that we see in scripture, obviously? How do we continue to reach out to people who are different than us? I don't, just some practical kind of thinking through some of this, yeah, this when question. I, so when I listened to our campus pastor, John Rose for our Concord campus preach the same message, he talked about how that is natural, that yeah. there, there is a, a natural proclivity yeah. um, uh, towards that. And I was just really struck while listening to him that, you know, so often we settle for the natural when God is offering us the supernatural. Mm. And that this is something that is supernatural and that God is doing. So in his family, I mean, that, the, the church, it is clearly stated in scripture that there is, you know, no, no Jew or Gentile, slave nor free, male nor female. I mean, that this is, that, that the family of God is this great, uh, equalizer and unifier and it's a supernatural thing that Jesus does and is doing and has done and yet instead of really pressing into the supernatural which can be costly 
and um, you know, really transformative. We say, well, no, it's it's natural, and so we'll just we'll tolerate this kind of natural thought mm. process and activity. And it's pretty subtle too. You know, when we look at, uh, I mean, there there is nothing more segregated than churches in the U.S. Mm. I can't think of anything that would be more segregated. Mm. And even if you have people who are like, well, no, what, I mean, everybody's welcome, right? Everybody, everybody's welcome. Um, okay, but. Are, are we doing things that are welcoming? Mm. And or are we so like used to our methodology or a methodology and you know, whatever you know, kind of church that is, to say, well, no, this is what we like to do. And so we're, we're going to do this and not do anything that would be potentially costly mm. you know, and dying to self um, to really celebrate and experience something better. Mm. So we sell for the natural as opposed to the supernatural thing that God is doing. Yeah, you're right because it's, we're driving towards this all tribes, all nations, worshiping the king together. We're driving to that point of like, man, we can celebrate with the whole family of God. Everybody. And that's where we need to be going towards. But you're right, it's going to be, there's going to be a sacrifice involved to get to that place that, that Jesus is calling us to. Yeah, that's I went it. back in, uh, so the, the book Decentralized, yep. I've actually read a couple of times. I wrote it and we put it out, you know, February 2019. So I wrote it, you know, in the summer and fall of uh, 2018, yeah. and no, 2019. It was put on. Yeah, yeah. No, I got it right. Yep, anyway, yep. and uh, it, you know, it's talking about how the internet has changed the world. And the second to last chapter in that book is called The Great Equalizer. And I was looking through that again this past week, and just like, wow, it, it's so true that as you know, you, you get behind. There's so many things that we could say are positive or negative, you know, but they just are. You get behind a keyboard, and now all of a sudden. You, you really can be in many ways whoever you want to be. Mm -hmm. So like, for instance, if you're really meek in person and very shy, you might be very bold mm -hmm. online, you know, with an online persona. But these online personas are very much there. We can say, well, that's just online and that's not the real world, but it is the real world. Mm -hmm. and, the, and it's not separate. It really is a, a blending of, of everything, you know, you know, physical and the digital. And so whoever we are online, mm -hmm is very much becoming a part of who we are and how we see ourselves. And so since some of those, you know, visual assessments, you know, like where we get discrimination and, um, and favoritism and those things, since those disappear uh, mm. with an online persona, they will increasingly, this is kind of interesting, disappear um, and, and become less tolerated mm. in um, the physical world. Mm. And so the church it will be slow Historically, the church yeah. oftentimes has been yeah. uh, slow, the local churches, in uh, experiencing maybe what the, the rest of the world is. But here's a place where I think we really have the opportunity to lead out and take some massive steps forward in going, okay, great. This is, this is a real opportunity to, to press into the supernatural and what, what God has promised and what he's doing and done and to live that out as opposed to settling for is something that might be comfortable and natural. Because mm. he abolished the dividing wall of hostility. Gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Tore it down, but we keep building it back up. Yeah. And, and again, I don't, I don't know that people are like, I want to build a dividing wall of hostility. That's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know that that's the intention, but that's what we keep, we keep doing. So like in that chapter of the book, I talk about uh, having dinner with a new friend that I made at a conference where I was speaking, a black gentleman. And man, we were laughing and just having a blast and you know, like same music, same movies. And, and then you know, eventually we, we got to know each other well enough to kind of dive into you know, the, the nature of race and the division uh, within our churches. And, he's, and I said, well, like, talk to me about it. And he goes, man, I don't know. He goes, the church I go to is just as bad or worse you know, than any you know, predominantly white church I've been to. Mm -hmm. And I go, well, what do you mean? He goes, well, I said, you guys, I, I was like, would I not be welcome? No, you'd be welcome. I, and, and he started kind of unpacking that a little bit for me. I go, come on, man, your church would, would love me. Like I just, mm -hmm. and he goes, oh, you could visit, but you couldn't stay. Mm. And I went, mm. oh, okay. And I started listening and I'm like, is that, is that the kind of, added, you know, like, oh, you could, you could visit, you know, but to really be a part and to be a whole, and I'm like, man, is that, how much of that do we mm. do? Mm. And just to have, get to have that conversation really maybe for the first time in you know, my 45 years, yep. that was really special. Yep. 
So and anyway, I, more and more of those are happening. I want to be, the, every seat that I sit in, I want to be in a space where I go, you truly can visit and you can stay here. Like, you are welcome here. Yeah, you know? not even, it's not even a visit, you just yeah. are. You're part you're of the family. You're we're, here. We're, yeah, yep. and we, we enjoy that yep. um, and enjoy one another. And go after the, let's go after the supernatural, which means all, the, all these heavy burdens, they're heavy, they're real. I'm yep. not discounting them. They are heavy and they're real. For sure. Jesus says, come to me. He'll take them, he'll give us rest, then we can follow him. That's beautiful. Yeah, this is the day to do it. This is the day. Yeah, this is the day. Mm. So thanks for joining us today on This Is The Day and uh, eat some fresh veggies. And we will catch you tomorrow on Wednesday.